Welcome. Today we're going to be going over a super elevation problem. Um, this has a two lane highway with 12 foot lanes. Design speed is 60 miles per hour. Your E is equal to 6%. Normal crown is 2%. And we're going to assume that there is no vertical curve throughout this whole uh, super elevation. Um, we're going to need Go ahead and find the PC and PT stations and elevations at center line and edge of pavement. Station and elevation at beginning and end of full super elevation. Stations that transition beginning and ends. Stations that trend that tangent run out begins and ends. Station that super elevation runoff begins and ends. Basically what we'll be looking at is this diagram right here where you have a tangent runoff, your super elevation runoff from your basically the end of tangent run out to the full super elevation. Within that on both sides will be the PC station and PT station which is at the end of your curve. Um, for this problem it did ask that we have a 75% runoff to be on tangent. Here I have actually written two thirds, but uh, this would actually be three fourths, and then that'll be one third after the PC station elevation. Uh, we'll go ahead and have um, this will be a curve going to the right, and so and it will also be the super elevation will be turned from the center line alright let's go ahead and get started here so basically what we have to do first is we have to find our tangent for our curve information and here we've been giving our bearings of the uh, North 02 West and North 48 degrees East with a radius of 1500 feet and a PI station of 30 plus 00. zero. So here we're going to have our radius equals 1500 feet. Our delta, and we go ahead and subtract our northing 02 west and our northing 48 degrees east we're going to have a delta in here so right now it's looking our curve is sort of looking like this and our delta is here and this is going to equal 50 degrees once we subtract those two bearings our tangent, we can go ahead and use the tangent equation, which is tangent equals radius times the tangent of delta over 2. So this will equal 1500 times tangent, the delta of 50 degrees, divide that by 2. This will equal 699.4614 feet. We'll also need our degree of curvature and that formula is degree of curvature equals 5,729.578 divide that by the radius. So if we write that out I will put a 7 there, 8, divide that by the radius, which is 1,500 feet, and our degree of curvature equals 3 degrees, 49 minutes, and 11 seconds. So when we go ahead and put this into our TI-89, 5729.5 seven eight divide that by a radius of fifteen hundred feet what we're going to want to do 
is we're going to want to go ahead and use our catalog and then the degrees minute second and we'll scroll down to that degrees minute second here and that'll give us our 3 degrees 49 seconds and if we round this up 10.98 to 11 seconds that's what we'll be looking for which is what here our length equals our delta divided by our degree of curvature times 100 so that equals 50 degrees over 3 degrees 49 minutes 11 seconds times 100 L equals 1308 0.9969 all right so to go ahead and find our PC and our PT here which is the beginning of curve and the end of curve or point of curvature and point of tangent we'll go ahead and put this as our PC equals we use the um, delta here if we look at the original problem the delta or, or the uh, PI here is at 30 plus 00, zero. PI equals 30 plus 00, zero or 3000 feet and what we need to do is we need to subtract our tangent length from it and then to get the PT, we're going to use our PC station that we get and then add the length of the curve. We don't add the tangent to get to the PI. So, we do 3000 minus our tangent length. So when we do that, we get 2,300.5385. For our PT, we just add this here to our length of curve here, 2,300.5385. Plus that by 1308.9969, and that comes out to be 3609.5354. So at the end of our curve here, our PT equals 36 plus 09.54. If we round that up, and our PC equals. 23 plus 0, 0, 0.54. So now that we have those, we can use our equation. To get our super elevation runoff and our tangent runoff. So we have 